friends welcome to my uh may haul it's already you know a couple days into may um but i've been hoarding these things including a very first and exciting neokyo haul no not neokyo oh my god rest in peace <laughs> bye <-y -haul. laughs> so um let's get into the trades first and then we'll do the buy stuff because that's more fun actually the rest were mostly purchases so this is the one trade first of all look at this card uh, yes, so sweet. Uh, this is who I traded with, and we actually traded not a card, but a little magnet. Um, I got a bunch of these lucky draws while I was in Las Vegas for, um, obviously the concert, uh, and I needed Namjoon still, so we traded, I think, JK? For this sweet little Namjoon. So nice. And then, um, they sent this, which is so sweet. I think, I think they say here that they're, them and their best friend make keychains. Look how sweet this little Namjoon is. As you guys all know, Boy With Love Namjoon slash Platinum Namjoon is just like, means so much to me. So, <laughs> so sweet. Thank you so much. This was a lovely package to open. Then I have a couple purchases here. So I bought these from, uh, this will finish off my Stacy collection. I was collecting OT6 for these AR cards. Speaking of AR cards, I haven't even like done the AR thing on these. I always forget to do that. Um, this is just Isa and Yoon's. Uh, so now I have all of them. I was waiting to be able to find them like together so I wouldn't have to buy them separately and like ship them separately. So they are now here. And that means I'm like caught up on what I collect for Stacy. So that's really exciting. Maybe they'll come back soon. Maybe. And this is a really exciting one. Uh, Kate actually helped me procure this. Uh, this is why you post what you desperately want on your stories because people, like uh, nice people, will reach out and help you uh, get them. I guess Kate, JK Elise, right? JK Elise, JK Elise <laughs> on YouTube um, had got a couple lucky draws from Las Vegas trying to get JK and she had some extras. This person helped them or helped her get them, I guess. Um, and she had a Hobie left over. So I snatched him up. Uh, and this person was the one who sort of did all this as a middleman for us. Um, and they also sent some confetti from day four. So that's really sweet. I have so much extra confetti too. Um, if we're like trading or anything together and you want some, hit me up and I can definitely send you some. I've got so many black swan feathers too. Um, because day four I was in the... Um, what's it called? Live play. And they just shot out like an outrageous amount of all of the confetti. So I wasn't even like trying to get a bunch of it. It just literally fell into my open bag and I left with a bunch of it. So anyway, here is Hobie's, not that I've made an absolute mess. Here is Hobie's lucky draw from Las Vegas uh, live play. I got Namjoon or actually I pulled Jim and traded for Namjoon. And then this is Hobie's. I just, I don't know. I really wanted it. He's so cute, He's so cute. So there is that. And the last thing before the buy stuff, this is from McKinley. She sent over two of the, her extra um, Subins that I needed from, was this not Act Boy, what was this? Mo Buy Together, duh. Um, so now I think I only need one more. This was like impossible to trade for. I had so many extra cards, not a single person traded with me. Um, yeah, so thank you McKinley. It was hell I think for everybody, but this is his number seven and 10 such a cute set or I wouldn't even bother with it <laughs> but now I know I will never do mini PCs for TXT again okay and let's get into the buy stuff it came in this very fun envelope and then if you haven't seen a buy haul before everything comes wrapped up in their own big green envelopes so let's just go through this this is so exciting my experience with buy was okay um <laughs> she she's so beautiful um I liked how speedy they were. I liked how easy it was to order stuff. Um, I obviously didn't like the fee, but I mean, it's not terrible, especially if you're buying sets of stuff, which is what I tend to do anyway on Mercari Japan. What I did not appreciate, <laughs> and I had kind of forgotten about this, how do I open this? There's a 10,000 yen um, consolidation fee. So it's about $10 USD, um, which is, in uh, bullshit it's just bullshit um so that was kind of frustrating but it was worth it i guess for something like this which is like a set of cards like all together this is a set of shiyun snowy night cards this was their like um it wasn't really a comeback it was like a winter single uh and they did a bunch of merch photo cards for it. i really don't know what it was all about this was like as i was getting into billy this was going on um 
and I didn't think I was going to collect them, but they're just really pretty. Um, and Shiyun's really cheap on Makari Japan, so I decided to go for it. If you can tell, they're holographic. Um, they're just really cute cards, and I figured, like, I like Billy so much. I, they're so early into, you know, their their career that uh, it's not a big deal to kind of collect lots of stuff right now. Not getting all the pops, but look at this cute little bunny puppet. Um, and then, yeah, I don't, I think this was maybe a pre-order benefit or I, I know nothing about it, but it came in the set. It's really pretty. Um, and I don't have any like big inclusions of her. So I think that'll be nice to maybe put in the front of my binder or something like that to signify. Other than the expensive like consolidation fee, um, I have not, didn't have many complaints. It really was just like the money, like everything else was really nice. Uh, shipping, I was about what I expected. So that wasn't a big deal. Um, yeah, it's, it was just all the fees, which I think is why a lot of people don't like them. Um, this is Namjoon's random deco kit card. Um, Jane did a go for these, uh, for the deco kits. And I claimed Hobie, because actually Hobie's a little more difficult to get on Makari Japan. I knew I'd be able to get uh, Namjoon really easily. Um, so yeah, snatched him up. So cute, so cute. All of their uh, cards for, for that kit were really, really good. Um, this is an annoying purchase. If you watch my last, my very last Neokio haul, um, this is basically a repurchase of what I've already bought from the season's greetings. Um, I decided not to buy the whole season's greetings this time around. It's just not my favorite, like, thing. <laughs> Actually much preferred the inclusions of the deco kit. Um, so I hope they continue doing stuff like that, but I don't think they'll stop doing season's greetings. But anyway, I bought a set that was supposed to have Hobi and Namjoon's like all their inclusions including their photo cards and it came with all the inclusions but not the photo cards so I bought another listing um that I actually did include their photo cards this time so that's nice <laughs> these are very cute um I'm, I'm I mean I just love Namjoon's especially but very good and then it's got all the inclusions oh it's actually got these too which is nice huh I didn't know it was going to come with those what were these did they come in the kit too? I don't know. Regardless, those are really, really nice. I'm happy I have those actually. So it's worth it, it's worth it. These are now duplicates. I don't know exactly what I'll do with them. I might use them for collaging purposes or something like that. I don't think I'm gonna sell them because I really got this set for very cheap and so it would be rude of me to sell them, um, but if anyone really needs them, maybe hit me up, but I might just keep them and do something with them. All right, and only two more envelopes. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I don't like about Body. I do have another complaint. They only have storage for 30 days, which just is not enough for me. Like I obviously buy a lot of photo cards, but not that much. Um, and so I ran out of storage time, like, and I really didn't have that much here. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. Yeah, I really didn't have that much to send, which was really frustrating. I think there were only like, five orders or something like that. Here are most of the rest of Shein's Starry Night cards. I'm still missing one of her unit cards, which I don't know, depending on how this all looks like in my binder, I may or may not get. Um, but here is the first unit. Look at how cute. Sean, Sua, and Shiyun. Um, I think Sua is like in definitely my bias line. So it's cute. And again, all of them are hollow. They're really pretty. It might be kind of hard to see on camera. It is kind of dark in here, but they're all really cute. I saw that a lot of these were misprinted, which like, meh, I don't really care all that much. Uh, and then here are two of her other like selfie cards. There is this one. She's really cute. She does that little pose a lot. Ooh. And this one. Uh, I just love them. I also would love another Billy comeback. Um, but that's being greedy, maybe. <laughs> they really did kind of just come back. <laughs> it's a different envelope. I wonder if it came like in this. And that's why they sent it. What the heck? <laughs> really? <laughs> this is just raw dogging it in there. God, this is a card, the most expensive singular card I bought here. Um, this is <laughs> Hobie's Map of the Soul, Seven, The Journey. Not the Weverse pre-order, but the limited edition Japan Fan Club, I think. Um, this was the last Japanese Hobie card I needed. And if you collect these cards, you kind of know it's just like kind of expensive um, because they were limited edition. So I kind of was just waiting 
to decide to buy this to buy it and I decided to buy it and it came I can't believe in that envelope with not nary a sleeve or a top loader just hanging out in there but anyway now we have it we do like a little spread like olden days Right, those were the things from my very first Bai haul. Um, all the complaining I did, I probably think I will stick with Bai as my like Japanese proxy, unless maybe you guys have recommendations on what else to do. <laughs> Um, but for now, I think it's just the easiest, honestly, to use. Hi, friends. I have a little bit of everything to kind of go through today. Purchases, trades, group orders, the whole shebang. Let's start with something very exciting. This is from Cynthia. Um, you guys know Cynthia, right? She's great. Uh, this is Hobie's Sao Paulo bookmark. Uh, this is the last one I needed to sort of complete my collection. So I have Nam June and Hobie for Sao Paulo and Love Yourself. Um, Wimbley. Wow, he is so cute. I just, I, I wish that they would do inclusions like this more frequently. Like I love being able to see like a full body shot. Cynthia sold this to me. Thank you so much. She is still looking for Tay. So if anyone has Tay, please reach out to her. Let her know. Next is a group order. I'm finally getting some of my Billy stuff in. Yay. I still have like two Billy group orders, I think, that are still incoming. Uh, this is who ran this group order. Uh, there were a lot of issues, not their fault, like with their supplier. So I think that's why it is so late. But this was for the Make Star, I think this was probably round one. I really don't remember. I kind of just joined random ones that I liked. And look at Shield! Oh my god. Oh, this is really pretty back. I haven't seen the back of it. So pretty. You always gotta get a hollow in there. I think she takes really cute photo card selfies too. So there's that. Uh, and then I'm just trying to complete, you know, one of each member kind of thing. So unfortunately I don't need all of these cards anymore. Um, I think I actually am gonna just trade these two away. So yeah, I got this Sean card, which I will be keeping. Really nice. I love her in this um, this concept, in this outfit. So I'll be keeping that. And then like, just because of how I'd gotten like other group orders in, like my wish list was kind of just wrong by the time these got sorted. So I will trade these. I need, a couple different polas. Um, I already have a Moon Sue card, so kind of need any other member. And then I already have uh, a Sean ID, so any other member. So those will be up on my Instagram. I always link my Instagram down below, by the way. But yes, it is nice to finally be finishing up this uh, Billy comeback. So such a good one. Ooh, this is a TXT trade. I haven't traded for TXT in quite a while because I'm like fairly caught up to my collection. Um, half of this is for me and half of this for is for a friend. But this is the perfect opportunity to talk a little about TXT. Um, this is, I'm recording this on the Sunday after uh, ticketing for Lovesick happened. Isn't it called Act, Act Lovesick? Yeah. Um, and I was very successful, my, me and my friend group. Um, I tried to get tickets for Atlanta and Dallas and we were able to get both of them, which is really, really exciting. Um, so I will be seeing them both of those two days. Uh, so here, here we go. <laughs> here are some Kai photo cards. I'm just gonna open them up. Um, this one is for me. No, maybe, I can't remember. This one might be for me. I don't know. This is R, I think, Blue Hour. This is his full Blue Hour set. Um, this is AR, maybe? QD. That one's definitely for me. And this is his V. I don't know. Don't trust me on these. This is clear card. Um, I actually really, really like those. But anyway, okay, about ticketing. Let's take a brief intermission. Um, I wanted to go see the Atlanta show, obviously, because I live in Atlanta. Um, but they were ticketing on the venue's website, which if you know the venue's website, it's like a piece of shit. <laughs> Um, but I have a friend who was able to figure out something like the, basically the site was not working correctly. It wasn't working as it should have been on mobile versus desktop. And she was basically able to like hack in the mainframe. That's all I can explain it as and get us tickets. So we are seeing it VIP in Atlanta. And then in Dallas, I am seeing it VIP with Jane just because Jane got super lucky. We were like in the queue waiting. And when, you know, it was ticketing time, she got in pretty early on the queue and was able to snag the tickets. So I don't know. I don't know what I did in a former life to deserve this, but I really appreciate it. Oh, I forgot to say, this is who I traded these with. Um, we traded a couple of Enhypen cards, I think. So 
that's really exciting. I am happy to have these. I am collecting um, OT5 for AR now. I think this is AR. Please don't judge me if it's wrong, but this set. Um, so one, one card closer, which is nice. Yeah, were you guys able to get TXT tickets? It, it really did seem like a bloodbath blood bath for a lot of people. Uh, and as always, Ticketmaster was doing their bullshit with resale, which I know was really frustrating for people. I hope people are going to be able to go. Um, don't lose hope. People always sell tickets the day of, like stuff comes up and they can't go anymore. So just maybe hold out hope. Um, this is a trade I did for a friend, so I traded with. Uh, so this is her card. This is a Jiho um, Taste of Love card. Cutie. Jiho's. I think Jiho's her bias. I don't know. She loved everyone twice. It changes every day. All right. Next is a Kepler card, which I haven't talked about Kepler like at all on this channel, other than when I was watching Girls Planet 99. I loved that show to bits. I loved all the girls on that show. I was so emotionally attached to it. And then unfortunately, Kepler isn't my favorite like style of music. Here's what I traded with. Um, I still really enjoy them as people, but like they're not, you know, like an alt group or anything for me. Um, I'm very excited to see what they continue doing because I, I have a lot of trust in them and they're very talented girls. But anyway, it grows my bias. Um, and this is one of her, I think, connect cards. I don't know. I'm kind of just casually collecting them. Um, I still have this card. If anyone would like to trade for any of Hickory's cards, uh, hit me up. But yeah, she's just like too cute. So talented. Love her. Um, so there is my first and probably maybe only Kepler trade for a while. <laughs> and then this is one last group order. Uh, Starling Tay, I really highly recommend them for group orders. Um, this was the last Wings, the final card I need to be done with Namjoon, which is like so unbelievably exciting. This set was really difficult. It wasn't difficult to start because there's plenty of these cards on the market, but there's definitely some cards that are just like harder to find in the set. Uh, and for me, this one was like so difficult. Um, but this is his number four of six. Um, really cute. I really liked these cards. I liked the, the sharp edges. Um, but anyway, looks amazing. Um, this was like finishing off my mini photo card collection or like my tour photo card because I finally finished one of the last muster cards I needed, which you'll see in a buy order eventually. Um, but yeah, there's Junie. 